Hey, I should be live. Hi, it's me, your mother goose, Justine. I am back with another Saturday stream. I'd love to welcome my gaggle back to my flock for hopefully, I mean, I think this is going to be a great one. I'm going to have a timestamp to when the react begins because Amber posted an update about her surgery. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome. I'm going to be honest, and I, and I vlogged about it today. It's going to be in my uh, Tuesday vlog on my Starch channel. <laughs> hey Jasmine, it's great to see you here. I was like, look, I wasn't sure what I wanted to talk about today because everything's a dang mess. But then Amber posted this. Usually I like to wait a day. You guys know how I do. Oh, you saw so many geese today. I'm sorry, MC. That's terrible. Oh, Pastel Wave says, I haven't watched in a long time. Surgery for what? Girl. <laughs> Where you been? You haven't been to my... <laughs> oh, she had to have a hysterectomy because she is she has cancer. And we're gonna we're gonna find out about it today, I guess. I'm re I'm really curious. I'm I really I'm curious. <laughs> Kona, <laughs> I'm gonna allow it. <laughs> oh, Kona jellies. You haven't watched the video yet? Okay, well we're here. Oh, Mad Rose loves geese. That's okay. We can look. We we all live together. We're we're all we're all one in this universe. <laughs> I have not seen the video yet. I'm about to watch it. Anyway, so I wasn't sure what I wanted to talk about. First of all, first of all, I'm a little like perplexed because I saw a post on an Amberlynn group I'm in on Facebook. Well, it's Amberlynn and and other hot messes on YouTube, you know, like the, uh, what do you call it? The, the sisters that were on the show. Oh, how do I forget their name? You know, like Tammy and you know, the, anyway, so they posted some, like Mikocado Avocado was streaming and saying something about having diabetes and, um, yeah, I but I haven't seen anything else about it other than in that random Facebook group. Oh, uh, y'all making me jealous with your goodies you're giving yourself. Oh, thank you, Heather. Yeah, my hair is on point. This is Slayton Sisters. Thank you, High Wind. The hair thing, I, as I explained in my um, in my Starch vlog I, I'm vlogging today, I said, look, don't get used to this. As soon as this stream is over, I am tying this up. Okay, Th this is not going to th th see this. Take a really good look at it. It's the last day <laughs> of this. It's a hundred degrees to get today. Forget about it. No, nope, no, no. As soon as this is done, I am tying my hair in the smallest bun ever. <laughs> oh my God, Annie! Happy birthday! It's Annie's birthday, and they're 36 weeks pregnant today. Congratulations. Yeah, this main, the only reason why I have this right now is for this stream. Okay, as soon as this is done. And I spent all day making sure my hair would be perfect for this stream. I washed it at the right time, put the right products in. Look. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. K. Highwind said, Nick scared me because he said he had a mini heart, heart attack. Let me tell you, Nick Akato is one of those that I just don't get how he's allowed to exist on YouTube. I really don't. The way that he LOLs about domestic violence, dom I, I just, LOL, I don't, I don't believe him that he has diabetes. If he does, who knows? He can't believe a thing he says. So he's LOLing about diabetes, LOLing about getting a divorce, L like, I just don't understand how he's allowed to exist. I don't get YouTube. I really don't. The things that they allow to exist and the things they don't allow to exist, I, I just don't get it. Oh, thank you, Donna. Welcome. No, you didn't miss the reaction at all, YouTube, video <laughs> YouTube videos. That's their name. <laughs> Not at all. This just started. Again, I'm going to have a timestamp so when the real react begins... I'd show you guys that video I'm talking about of uh, Nigikato saying he has diabetes, but it was in a 
it was in a Facebook group and it's like private until you join kind of place, you know? And I haven't seen anything else about it at all on the internet. So I, I kind of don't want to, like, since it was a private group, I, I feel weird showing you guys it. Yeah, Shion said, back when you started YouTube, it was so different. For sure. YouTube has changed a heck of a lot since I joined, for sure. I can't believe I'm still here. <laughs> Can I be honest? I've been such of a jerk of a content creator. I'm inconsistent. I'm boring. I, don't, I have no idea why anybody watches me. <laughs> if I can be honest. I mean, I, I guess I'm funny, but not as funny. There's people that are so much funnier than me. <laughs> uh. Oh, you work every... Lucy says, I can never watch your lives anymore because I work every weekend, but I got injured, so now I can. I'm, I'm very sorry you got injured, but hey, you, you got to come. That's amazing. <laughs> hey, Rebecca. Hey, Kimberlini. Hey, Woma. Thank you so much for coming. Kate, you're back. Thank you so much for being here. My moderators are amazing. I have the best moderators. Oh, thank you. Tip of being said, you're too hard on yourself. I, I really am. I... Hey, all right. What was that? <laughs> it says reconnection is successful. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, and N45441 <laughs> said you are wholesome and real. That's extremely rare these rare these days. Thanks. <laughs> it's hard to keep it wholesome. <laughs> I do my best. I don't want to like it. You know what it is? I don't want to tick off a bunch of people. That's where I'm at. I don't want to tick off a bunch of people. The stream is buffering. Hopefully it's better now because my OBS reconnected. So it should be better now. I don't know what's up. I got a OBS. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to react to the video. Hold on. Hold on. I like to chat first with the chat. <laughs> hey, Jody. Welcome. It's good to see you. <laughs> Welcome to the Justine support group. <laughs> is that where we're at so yeah but anyway so i saw that about um i, I saw that post about nikocado saying and and he was streaming somewhere i don't know where because if i can be honest i'm not really good with the apps and stuff but and he said i have diabetes this is it i have diabetes he says and it sucks because i have to deal with all these haters that's what he said so What's my favorite flavor of vape juice? That's going to be pear. <laughs> Cindy's first time in a live? No, I didn't say IBS. I said OBS. <laughs> it's something I used to stream so I can also show the video. Yeah, but anyway, okay. So I watched that on my... I, I watched it in the Facebook group. And uh, then I saw Spill Sesh who I have, um, I suspect that that's Shane Dawson, and, and I talk about that on my other channel. But anyway, I think that, oh yeah, they just posted a video about Nikocado, and I watched the whole thing. It was, it, was, it was posted today, I think, and it said nothing about him having diabetes. So I'm like, did I just watch something? Like, was it a ghost? Was it, I, I don't know, <laughs> because no one's talking about it. Yeah, Katie, he said, yeah, he, he said diabetes, like it sucks. No, he, he didn't say it sucks because of the haters. He says that it's worse because he has to deal with all these haters. But unfortunately, this is stuff that um, uh, he kind of brought it upon himself. <laughs> oh, Michaela said, tell us more about the spill sesh theory. theory. I, that, I really don't have more to it. It's actually my friend's theory, and it makes sense. The, the theory being that a lot of, like, these drama channels that she that remain anonymous you know we think that we think based on nothing that it's popular youtubers talking about themselves to keep themselves popular that's our theory and and they use it as like um like a what's the word i'm looking for like pr for themselves 
Oh, he's not going to change his eating habit. He's probably trolling. He's probably lying. <laughs> he's probably lying about having diabetes. You can't believe a dang thing. He lies about domestic violence. He lies about divorce. You can't believe anything he said. He sucks so much. Like, that's why... That I, I'm like so mad that he, I'm so mad he exists on YouTube, and he has like 5,000 channels. I don't even know where to find him or where he posts anything, where he posts something stupid. I, I can't even find him. Maybe he was live streaming from one of his 5,000 channels. I don't know. Ugh. Yeah, I think that might be true, Michaela. I, it can't be... I don't know. <laughs> KDK said, I've heard a lot of YouTubers collaborate with drama channels, too. Like, drop the story to them first. Absolutely. What's his name said it? The blonde guy. I, I forget. He's he's gay. What's his name? Uh, I can never think of anybody's names. This is why I should not stream, okay? This... <laughs> Because I can never think of their names. Yeah, he he flat out said that, you know, like he would talk to Jeffree Star and he was on Jeffree Star's payroll for something. Like, I, I don't know. I, I, I... Drama does bring views. That's a good point, Jasmine. Nick. That's right. You're right. You're right, Marlene. It's, no, it's Nick. Dustin Daly. I love him. Peter, I like. It's not like I don't watch and like these guys, but yeah, Nick, Nick. I think he talked about that. Uh, the blonde guy. <laughs> I'm like the worst YouTuber ever. This is why I could never drama channel because I can't even think of people's names. I'm terrible. Nick Snyder. Yeah, you're right, Kate. October Ren points out some got caught doing it because the drama channels called them out, but I won't say who because I'm not dealing with it. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's a payroll thing. It's a lot of views. It's millions of dollars. It's a bunch of nonsense. So, yeah. All right, well, you guys keep wanting me to watch the video. So I'm going to hop into, <laughs> well, we said I'm too kind to be a drama channel. I'm too kind. And you know what else? If I can be honest, I don't. I'm not, I'm like the opposite of clout chasing. <laughs> I'm like, leave me alone and please leave me alone. That's, <laughs> I like to, I, I, I like to have my little safe space here on the internet. All right, Jasmine's horrible at names too. All right, guys. All right, well, my stream health is not good. The video output is lie, low. So it sounds like a great time for me to turn the video on, huh? I, I just... My, oh, my streams, my streams, my streams. Alright guys, so we are going to be watching Amber's hysterectomy journey. I have not seen this. I haven't anything... i this... outside of the cancer center right now. Um, I just got tested for COVID, so we're going to see how that goes. They said they're going to call me tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's actually the day, so they're supposed to call me to tell me my results for the test, and they're supposed to call me tomorrow and tell me what time my surgery is the next day. So my surgery is day after tomorrow. I am really scared, and I feel like right, I, I think closer, I think Amber like, is probably safe because... If anyone social distances, I think Amber is our girl, for sure. Let me get the chat up. <laughs> Jill says, you are our safe, you are our safe space. <laughs> Do I think Jenna Marbles will be back, Katie K asked? I don't know. I don't know. We, we can talk about that later. Let me uh, react here. Like, the time comes is more scared I feel obviously but um Becky had to park pretty far away so I'm just sitting out here on a bench getting some sun because I need it and I noticed my skin is kind of getting like yellow and oh, in my Jesus. blood work it did say that um one of my liver like levels it starts with a b I don't remember it was up by like one point uh, this is so terrible first of all first of all 
I see she's wearing her orange chickens under the sea shirt. I actually legitimately love that shirt. It's like mermaids with like a lacy thing here and I really like it, but I can't find it anywhere. And I don't think it exists anymore. And I love that she wears it. <laughs> I don't think she's coming back either, Christina. I don't know why. I, I'm not sure why, but I let, let's take about it, talk about it after. So it's kind of nerve wracking. Um, yeah, it's nerve wracking. Oh. The whole going to the hospital during a pandemic thing is nerve wracking. It's terrifying. I can't, I'm having surgery, then I would be so I scared. <laughs> I just have a lot of health problems going on and it's just scary. Hey guys, so it has been two days since I last talked to you. Yesterday, um, I got a call saying I tested negative for COVID. Very good. And they gave me my um, arrival time. I have my uh, mask up here just so I can, it's just a very quick, you know. My mom's actually not with us because I can only have one person stay there. I'm supposed to stay up to like three days, they said, or I don't know. So Becky has her bag. I'll yeah, that's mine. a sucky thing now. My, my stepsister just had a baby and she couldn't have visitors there. My, my stepmom, her mother, couldn't be there while she gave birth because she could only have one person. It's so stressful. I'm just imagining... I, I, I would be stressed out. Um, I need people when I'm in the hospital. I don't know. I'm just like... I'm a baby. Freaking out. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to cry, so... Okay, so she posted this. So this means that she made it through. So that's the only reason why I'm not freaking out right now. Because I know, okay, she post this was posted, so I, I have I guess she's all right. Like I <laughs> think about it, like she's going under the knife. Can you imagine? Like that's that's scary. <laughs> oh, and Shion said, I love the mask on my head because it keeps my bangs up. <laughs> I'm just scared. Um, I want a house tour soon, soon too, Jill. And I want to see which apartment she has because already which complex she's in was already doxxed. But I'm not sure which apartment layout. She, like, I just want to know everything about it. It's 9.54. We have no to be you. there in 36 minutes. Um, I think we're going to make it just fine. Anyways, I will keep you guys updated or try to. Maybe Becky can knows maybe not she'll probably be freaking out herself the whole time it just sucks that my mom had to stay home but i, I mean yeah I, that does suck no really i mean think about it that sucks so i guess she just has becky with her hmm. i'm surprised her mom wasn't the one the one person who could be there with her though i wonder if her mom also doesn't drive it's an interesting question i understand because COVID and whatever, but, um, all right, I'll see you guys later, hopefully. Hey, guys. You got this, girl. My eyes are really swollen. Yeah, they are. Um, but I did it. Um, the surgeon told Becky that the surgery went perfect. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, thank God. Thank God the surgery went good. Oh, my God. Think about it now, Amber. You, at least you don't have to worry about getting a period no more, girl. Think about it. I mean, come on. It's amazing. Oh, man. All right, Amber. Wow, it went perfect, huh? That's so... That's um, great. I'm. That... Honestly, shocks me. But yeah, I'm me too. I hate to I'm say in it. I'm a lot of pain, obviously. Mm -hmm. And I've done a lot of crying. Maybe that's why my eyes look the way they do. I don't know. Oh. Um, since I stepped foot in the hospital, also I'm swollen right here. Yeah, I don't know. Since I stepped foot in the hospital until right now, it's been 13 hours. So. Everything happened in 13 hours. It seems all right. Can I be honest? Uh, <laughs> the last time I had surgery, granted I was a kid, I had kind of a major back surgery, like a major one. 
And I was a huge B when I was coming out of surgery. I don't know. I was not in the mood. I don't know. I guess it was the medication. I was mean. <laughs> if you can imagine. <laughs> I was mean. I was in pain. Oh my God. I was not nice at all. So if she was a huge B after her surgery, I would not judge because I don't know what it was. I was just not happy when I got out of surgery at all. <laughs> room and Becky's yeah, Sam Squatch said maybe this will be a new star for her. Where's my INFP is at? This is where I'm at in my heart. Like what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What if this is a brand new thing? Plus, she just posted like a plant-based haul. What if her, she's like starting like a whole like, you know, new me thing. I, I don't know. I, I'm like so like, and this is, I am so here for this. I'm so here for this. I know I, 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 I imagine you guys are used to the snark or whatever. I can't like, I'm just, I'm honestly excited about all this. I'm on a liquid diet. So that's fun. Mm. It actually is fine with me because this water... Well, that's after every surgery, no? Great. But I just wanted you guys to know that I'm okay. And I hope I continue being okay. Hey, guys. So it is the next day. Um, a lot. Uh, a lot is happening. Uh -huh. Another thing about surgery I remember, which drove me nuts at the time. Oh, God, my back surgeries were miserable. And by the way, they didn't even finish. My back is messed up. You know what? That's fine. My back will stay a little crooked. It'll remain kind of hard for me to buy clothes because my I'm shaped strange. I don't care. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> that was horrendous. I was in so much pain for so long. It was the worst. I couldn't eat. I couldn't. I lost all this weight. I nope, 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 nope. I'm happened. a baby. Hey, Orko. Yeah, I might make like a whole video. On, like, my experience, because it's a lot. Yeah, you better, Dang. Oh, um, what I was going to say is, they get you up out, like, they make you move. <laughs> Even though you're in so much pain, because you just had friggin' surgery, they make you move. Because it's because it's because it helps your healing to keep your blood flowing. I don't know what, but they're probably doing that to her, too. Nope. I, I don't care. I'm... I would be hard pressed, like it's got to be medical emergency for me to have surgery again. Nope. Um, nope, nope, nope. Just like a few random facts. Before my surgery, I got an epidural. Um, about two hours ago, they had me stand for the first time and uh, really dizzy and really nauseous yeah it's it's the worst like I almost, I, it's the worst i really don't like that they make you do that i mean i get they have to or whatever it's just so miserable please just let me lay here in heels slowly i <laughs> hate it oh puked. my god and so i had to sit down lay down it's frustrating um and it's because of the meds. I'm not used to being on these type of meds. I feel crazy on them. Um, what did you talk about? Does she right mean like pain meds? Is that what she's talking about? And I don't really like those either. It's like you hate the pain and you hate the pain medicine. It makes it hurt a little less. It's, it still hurts and it makes you feel weird. And, yeah. My eyes are no longer swollen. Um, I was hooked up to medicine. I no longer am. So, my pain is probably going to get worse. Oh, Jesus. Um, what other updates do I have? Oh, yeah. They told Becky that my cancer uh, was... Yeah, let's talk about that. Ambien said, I mean, I, I admire her. Dedication to vlog right after surgery. Tell me about it. Oh my god. If I have a headache, I don't feel like vlogging. <laughs> if it's too hot, I don't want to vlog. If <laughs> oh my god, I can't imagine. Very 
deep in my uterus and they're glad that they got it out when they did. Um, that's scary. Um, but I'm very grateful that the surgeon is so amazing and she was I'm able to do so this. I'm so glad that she's not, that, that I'm so glad she pulled through. Like, I hate to be like that. It's just, I'm, I'm a, I, I'm, <laughs> isn't this, <laughs> oh my God. Um, what other updates? I don't really know. Um, if I think of anything, I'll let you guys know. Oh, I had a catheter and they took that out about six hours ago and I haven't peed on my own. So it's kind of worrisome. I mean, on a daily basis, I don't pee a lot anyways, so. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I have this little fan. I don't I, know if you guys Like, I'm uncomfortable watching it. I'm uncomfortable watching it. This looks miserable. I can't believe she's vlogging this. This is not a moment I'd want to vlog, though I get she's like... You know what it is? Actually, I wonder if it's this. She knows that there's a bunch of people that don't believe that any of this is happening. So, <laughs> maybe she's like, all right, I got to prove to everybody that I had a hysterectomy. I mean, that's what happens when, like, you fib a lot, too. You know, you kind of have to prove it. I, I just can't believe that she's vlogging this. Because I was sweating really bad. Like, I was so hot and just sweating like crazy and as you guys know I don't really sweat so it was very odd hot um but so far so good and I'll catch up with you I, I don't know if that's the case because I've seen her do exercise videos where she's you know what never mind never mind. Later again hey guys so it's day three in the hospital um update last night I was bleeding and um, a big blood clot came out, so that's oh, not good. Nope. Since then, I haven't had that happen again. I've been doing nothing but sleeping all day and all night. All right. Um, Sounds good to me. I have done bowel movement and farting. I know it's TMI, but they want you to do that, and I've done that. I'm peeing by myself. You know, they are um, very curious about that, so about good. when you have a a BM in the, in the hospital. It's really awkward. They're, they really want to know when that happens. It's, it's very, I don't like the hospital. <laughs> the thing is, whenever I get up, I get extremely nauseous. Like I'm about to puke and my head hurts up here and my face gets really hot, like on fire. Uh, so those are the things that I'm struggling with right now. And I'm What's pretty sure that? the reason why I'm sleeping so much is because of the medicine I'm on. I don't know. I don't like sleeping all the time. So it's definitely. Yeah, I'm stressed too, KDK. KDK said, I'm so stressed watching this. Trust me. My stomach right now. And I just had a, a lot of food. I just ate a, I got, I got a burrito bowl at Chipotle. I ate the whole thing. <laughs> oh my God. A downfall. Um, My stomach I know is... for sure they're keeping me another night to watch over me. Um, I had to do this oxygen thing, and the guy was actually this is a good thing was actually shocked at how well my lung, how good my lungs are. So, all right, that's... that made me feel really good. Okay, and um, I bypassed because what they do is they put it on a little level thing to where they want you to go and I bypassed it like super far it's supposed to measure like how well your lungs are working <sighs> anyways oh yeah and I'm barely eating so that's not really good either I would I would love to I don't sorry to pause but I would love to see a vlog from Becky during this time like from the from the apartment I, I would just love to I don't know. There, there's so much more I want to know. Think about it. This is like a huge deal. 
I, you know, I wish Becky had her own channel because I'm nosy about her too. What's going on with her mom? What's going on? You know what I mean? Like I'm talking every time they bring me something. The she had a hysterectomy blood and uh, Breakfast, I'll take one bite. Lunch, I'll take one bite. Dinner, I'll take one bite. Um, oh no, today has been really rough on me. And, um, I just hope I start feeling better because this just, this is the worst feeling I think I've ever experienced. It's horrendous. So. It's just horrendous. Thank you for vlogging this, Amber. So we're at day four of being in the hospital. My skin is really dry, as you can tell on my face. This is um, day four of being in the hospital. When was her surgery? What day was her surgery? I'm looking at the chat, but you guys are a little... You're behind. I, like, what day was the surgery? If this is the fourth day now, I don't know. My incision is perfect looking. Everything's perfect with that. I still have a headache. I'm still not eating. And I'm always nauseous. I just don't know what else to say. Um, I'm just miserable. And, um, oh, Amber, God. I just want it all to go away. I want it all to go away. I don't even know what I'm saying. I want it all to go away. This is just so horrendous. I can't believe she put this on YouTube. God, this is horrendous. I don't know. I'm not even going to say, look, I don't, people are, you know, I'm sure there's people, you know, after this, I'll check out the comments if you guys, if you guys want. But I'm sure there's people that thinking she's being a baby or something. Nope. When I'm in the hospital, full tears all day. <laughs> full tears. I hate it. 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 And usually when I'm in the hospital, I'm not even in pain. I just hate the experience. I, like, why? Like, uh, and, she, and she's in pain. This sucks. I just want to go back to my old self. It's coming. It's coming. And I keep asking myself, why me? Why did this have to happen to me? I feel I just, that one. I feel horrible. And I'm barely drinking any liquids. I'm trying my hardest. It's just... Another day of not doing very good. Hey guys, so it's still the same day as the clip before. Um, I might be going home today. Right in this moment. I feel a little bit better. Um, I'm thinking there's certain medications that is making me nauseous. And I'm trying to figure out what medications are making me sleep a lot. And I'm just trying to figure that all out. But I might be going home today. I'm not sure. Um, but I did want to end this video. And I will update you guys again. Obviously, I don't want to bombard you guys with hysterectomy videos, so that's why I'm... No, 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 it's cool if you do. That's that's fine. This is a big thing to go through. Think about it. I This is a big deal for a lot of... She's, what is, she's not even 30. She had a hysterectomy. That sucks. And I've seen you guys point out in the comments that a hyster, hysterectomy can basically, like... It, it, like, causes menopause. So maybe that's... You were saying maybe that's, like, her hot flashes. I'm in no way, shape, or form a doctor or none of it. I know very little about anything. <laughs> so I'm not going to guess on that. But I imagine she, there's going to be effects of this she's going to be feeling for a while. Combining them all because I don't want this to be, like, this big thing on my channel because kind of miserable so anyways thank you for watching I'll see you in the next video bye I'm actually sitting outside all right so what do you guys think about all that <laughs> I I'm kind of like I'm a little shook I'm not gonna lie I don't know how I like <laughs> You guys are talking about Charles Trippy. Yeah, he just he just vlogged his brain surgery. Now she's not being a baby. She's look, I would be the crying the whole time too. I'm not gonna lie and say I wouldn't be. It's not like I'm super strong. 
It is a lot to take in, Tiffa Bean. I agree. Michaela said, I think that was a good video as a cautionary tale. It's hard to watch, but it's the reality of the situation. Yeah. It, it's it's another, it, it, yeah, cautionary tale, tale. That's a good way to put it. I mean, think about it. If you have problems and you're not taking yourself to the doctor for it, that's where you're headed. I'm sure she's taking things that make her, um, make her nauseous. I'm glad she's okay too, Mad Rose Gun. And you know what, Amber, you're going to be feeling all right. Uh, all right, do you guys want to browse the comment section of this video? You guys feeling, uh, <laughs> what's the word? <laughs> you guys feel like putting yourself through all this? Oh, Bougie Bish said, a round of applause to that surgical team. For real, seriously. Um, all right, the, the, these um, comments are not fierce at all. They're all right. Uh, there's people pointing out that the anesthesia makes them, can make you nauseous for like a week after. All right, so it's good news that she's been discharged. I wonder if that video that we watched, that last clip, was like today or yesterday, you know? That's impressive. She she edited a video, put it up and everything. Uh, big Bitterful Me said, I was expecting her, <laughs> I love that name, I was expecting her to be doing a lot worse. I hate to say it, me too. I don't mean to be mean, but I just thought it'd be, I don't know. But it sounded pretty bad, <laughs> if I can be honest. It sounded pretty dang bad. Hey, you said, does anyone know if she will have to go on HTR to balance out her hormones? I have no idea about any of this stuff. <laughs> I don't know nothing about nothing, guys. Yeah, I mean, her comment section is very, is very tame. Though there was a, a comment, it had, oh, this is a good one. No. Uh, Michelle Savani said, no, you don't want to go back to your old self. This is your opportunity to, to change your life. You can do it. <laughs> That's great. Well, now she knows, I, this is probably effed up to say, but now she knows that she can go a few days without food and be be okay, you know, because she was so concerned about calories. Do you remember that? Like she was always concerned about eating too few calories. Yeah. Yeah, Kimberly, I'm guessing she's going through menopause now. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Oh, menopause. Jeez. I can't relate. I have my monthly right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I can't relate. I wish. Shion said, I have a feeling she's going to reward herself with food. We'll see. I mean... We'll see. I, you know what? Honestly, I'm just, I'm honestly being like optimistic here, honestly, because what this is her chance. And if her last food haul was any indication, maybe she's like thinking about 
doing something different than what she has been doing. Horror Beauty said, if she doesn't take this chance to change, I am done with her. I can feel that. I can feel that. But I just don't know if I have the capability of being done with anyone, frankly. Like, I... <laughs> I, I <laughs> there's always a chance. <laughs> there's always a chance. Yes, Kate Link said, let's send her positive vibes and prayers. I sure can. Unbelievable. I can't believe she posted that. I cannot believe she posted that. Amber, that was, dare I say, brave. It really was. I mean, think about it. She's literally, she has so many haters. I'm too invested too, KDK. I, I don't know. I don't know when or if. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know when or if. I, I can, I can stop with Amber. <laughs> I always want to know how she's doing. I've been watching her since literal, like, 2014. Like, I, I, I can't help it if I give a crap a little bit. Okay. So, what else? Okay, so, also, I was not expecting Amberlynn to post this before my stream. But I was curious. I wanted to... Switching gears, if you guys don't mind. I was also curious what's going on with Foodie Booty. Because... I, can't, I honestly can't keep up with her community tab or none of it. I can't even keep track of her. I can't even try. So, because apparently, like, she had, like, a, um, she had, like, a, a French fries mukbang. Let me go to her community page. Let me see what she's saying. Here it is. This is what I was talking about. Hey, guys. I deleted my New York fries video. I was very defensive. I didn't feel like myself yesterday at all. I was anticipating all the backlash I would get from doing the video. I acted like a big baby and basically told anyone who disagreed with me to F off. I know the way I acted was wrong. This is not about me doing what I want anymore. This is about me doing what I have to do. I did learn something from that cheat meal though. I was doing so well all week and then I felt like I really needed a cheat meal. I thought I would want more and more, but I seem to have gotten it out of my system. I felt better about eating my real food and am craving it today. And alright, so what is it? Is she back on her... Alright, so going back, that was two days ago. So I guess she's back on a health kick. It looks like she's eating in this thumbnail. I see a bunch of tomatoes. I'm not sure what she's eating. I don't know. I just can't even keep track of this one. Ooh, Anna L.A. said, After getting an air fryer and making fries in that, I could go forever without fast food fries again. For real. My air fryer changed my life. Love it. You guys can just, like, cut fry or cut potatoes into fry shapes and then air fry them. You don't have to add oil or anything. It's delicious. Have some ketchup with it. Okay, Brit C said that thumbnail is tomatoes, chicken, and rice. All right. Chicken and rice just kind of go together, don't they? I don't know what it is. I always love chicken and rice. Unlike Amber, I have been drinking and peeing all day. <laughs> so I have to run to the bathroom. I will be right back. Sorry, guys.
Hey everybody! You did miss the video, quite a con concoction. <laughs> you did, but this is going to be up soon on YouTube and then you can, I'll have a timestamp to when the react begins. Ah, Jillian points out, make sure to buy water with the correct pH. <laughs> God, you know, it's just one of those things that you're, what we just watched was like Amber in the hospital after his hysterectomy, after she couldn't eat afterwards, so nauseous. I wonder if she can't help but th th to think that all the things that she used to overthink about are so silly. I wonder, I want, she has an opportunity to have a moment of reflection here. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, don't like, she would get derailed and worry about the silliest things. Like the pH of water, the, I, I don't know. Oh, Green Gypsy Bird brought up a great point. I wonder if she's sad because she's not eating. That's a really good point. Where's baby Simba? Probably relaxing on the deck like a jerk because it's a sunny day. I'm really getting tired of him. He thinks he's not a baby anymore because he's not. But he is. Huh. He thinks he doesn't, he don't need me. He, oh, he does. I clean his litter. I make sure he's fed. I, you know, I'm tired of him. Ah, Horror Beauty loves how I say water. Water. <laughs> water. <laughs> yeah, Jill, that Simba has been neglecting my needs lately. He doesn't understand that I need to pet him. And I need to hold him like a baby. He ticks me off. Simba is two years old. He sucks. Yeah, Kona said Amber's probably lonely as heck only having to have, only being able to have one visitor at a time. For sure. Oh, do we want to watch Booty Booty? I don't her videos are so long, guys. They're so long. Like I can't. Chatty eat dinner with me. It's 26 minutes. Are you serious? Oh, I'm curious about this one though. Can we watch? It's a week old though. I don't know if you guys would mind. How I ate today to avoid binge eating. I'm really curious about it. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it, guys. I, I'm sorry. I I I'm not, I don't know how you feel about watching that one. I'm just curious. Aww. That's nice. Hey guys, just doing a little intro to this video you're about to see. The video I titled How I Am Eating to, at least for today, but this kind of style of eating in order to help me prevent binge eating, especially binge eating throughout the day, at night before bed. Um, last night was a successful night, no binging, and the method I am starting to use right now is mostly just tracking my calories uh, in my fitness pal. My fitness pal will be a tool. Most people who have some kind of successful weight loss do have tools that they use, whether it be weight loss surgery, um, calorie counting app, whatever the case may be, uh, and you know I'm also I, going to make sure... Okay, I'm not going to... Full disclosure... Please don't listen to me about anything. I have absolutely zero experience with binge eating. I don't, I don't get it. But from what I imagine, from what I imagine, actually, I don't even have to imagine. It wasn't that long ago that I tried counting calories to lose weight. <laughs> Trust me. When you're counting calories, it makes you want to eat more. <laughs> I can't be the only one that feels that way. That's, that's why I don't like doing it. It's, it makes you obsessed with what you're eating and how much and what can I eat next. What do I have calories left for? Like, I can't help but feel like that would make it worse. I mean, I I get that weight loss is calories in, calories out, that type of thing. And it is. 
isn't it easier to just eat low density foods, low calorie density foods? And fucking, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you're, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Just, I don't know. I don't know. Because if you're doing, if you're eating stuff like potato chips, then yeah, you have to calorie count and you have to watch as much. If you're eating things that have, that are more calorie dense, then yeah, you have to count it. I eat pasta all the time on my Starch channel. All the time. But you know what? I have to measure it so I can see, it, so I don't eat too much of it. I have to, I, I measure a big portion for myself, but you know, you have to, but if you're eating something else, like rice, beans, you don't really have to count that. There, you know what I mean? I don't know. It just makes sense. Sure. To eat enough food and balanced enough meals and not completely deprive myself. So it's kind of very new to me. So I just ask that you be patient with me and understanding in my journey. I am going to turn the comments back on, but if you are disrespectful in any Okay, put it perfectly. Thank you, okay. They said, counting calories is not good for anyone with an ED, binge eating included. It just increases the food obsession. Once again, I'm no sort of doctor or specialist, or I don't even really have experience with binge eating, but I totally imagine that. Because as a totally non-food obsessed person like myself, I, you know, I think I think I am. It just made me think more about food when I counted calories. Anyway, I will just block and delete your comment right away. So don't waste your time. All right. So <laughs> anyway, um, but I welcome everybody. Thank you for watching Hi. me. And I'm just going to show you what I eat today. Um, Here for that's it. pretty much what I'm going to do. But that is the method that I'm using right now. I find that when I eat adequate amount of food and it has to be, I have to pay attention somewhat to the macros so that I'm getting enough nutritious food so that my body isn't craving something. So for example, if I eliminate carbs being uh, suffering from binge eating disorder, I will more than likely feel like binging on a bunch of carbs. So I'm trying Well, that's a, yeah. I mean, carbs, you crave them for a reason. I won't get into that. Eat balanced right. meals with a carb, preferably healthy carb, carbohydrate, um, fat, protein, vegetables, fruits. You get the idea. All right. So I'm just making best, making do with what oh, I have now. Can I share this with you guys? I hope you don't mind because Jasmine, we've been talking on Twitter. She's so sweet. She's been talking about her story. Jasmine said, FYI, I already told at Kicking Geese earlier today. My doctor is reading up on starch solution as a good plan for bigger women who are pregnant and shouldn't be gaining too much weight in pregnancy. What's nice about, the thing about starch solution, and by the way, Jasmine, we were talking about pasta and stuff. Pasta is usually not included in the starch solution. I just eat it because I refuse to give it up because it is so calorie dense. Usually the starch solution, they're very low calorie density foods that you're eating. And that's why you can eat as much as you want and you don't have to calorie count or nothing. So it's just, so basically what, what you need to build a meal, you don't have to calorie count it or none of it, but just common sense. Like, do you have a vegetable? Do you have your starch? Something with some protein in it, that, which is common sense. You don't have to count it. You know what I mean? And it's so liberating. It's so liberating. I When I look back on trying to calorie count and trying to intermittent fast and all that BS, it makes me want to cry because I was trying so hard. And it's not that you're not trying when you're calorie counting and you're trying to lose weight. It's really not that you, that you don't care. It's not that you don't care. It's not that you're not trying. It's not that you're lazy. It's not that there's something wrong with you. It just makes you more preoccupied with food, in my opinion. Once again, I'm no doctor or specialist or anything of any sort, <laughs> in my opinion. You know, so, I, I don't know. I really wish that she would focus on, like, eating clean, low-calorie density foods, in my opinion. So and it's not perfect, which, but... my opinion isn't worth, worth much. There's a lot of room saying. for improvement. As always, and that is a work in progress. So let's get to let's get to. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is just going to be a food diary. Is that a stack of a uh, canned cat food on her next to her sink there? You see those cans on the left? <laughs> oh, kitties. Type of day. So I'm just going to show you everything I eat today. Last night was a really good yeah. night. I did is not that a food binge eat. 
So that is a victory for me, and I went to bed feeling great. Not bloated, not full, no acid reflux, no heartburn, and I was, however, um, voiding more water, and I think it's because I wasn't eating as much sodium before bed. Normally, I have like a huge binge full of sodium and all these other things not good for me. So that was good. However, I did have a bowl of this all-brand cereal. I had a serving of it, and I put it... That's the ship right there. That's it, sis. That cereal, yes. 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 Or I don't know about all brand. Is that what we call, uh... Why can't I think of the names of anything? Why can't I think of the names of anything? <laughs> you know, they look like brown nuggets. What's it called? Uh, you know, it's a cereal. I love it. What's it called? You put it on things. What the frig is that called? <laughs> Just seeing, examining everything in the background. I sure am. I'm nosy. I want to know what soap she, the dish soap she uses. I'll show you how I measure it out. I bet it smells good. Uh, with some strawberries and some unsweetened almond milk. So that's what I'm going to have for my first meal. Grape nuts. Thank you, Liz. Grape nuts. Cereal queen. I, I, maybe that's the Canadian equivalent to grape nuts. Grape nut cereal is it. It. Love grape nuts. Yes, please. I'll take it. I was out. I had to bring Pete's to get his comics. And I was so tempted to go to Mr. Sub because I'm craving a sub. And although I don't think there's anything wrong with getting a healthier sub, I just figure yeah, I'm going to come home, eat, you know, what I had planned to have. I'm going to make a ham dinner later tonight, which I've been really craving. So for now, I'm going to have this. So I'm just going to turn on my scale and uh, put my bowl on it. Hit the button that puts it to zero. Is it called tear? Tear, yeah, tear. This one, oh and my god, you guys so are getting this... a sneak glimpse to starch vlog. I feel like I, I never show me like weighing my favorite food because I feel like I'm so afraid of triggering anybody. I know there's people with eating disorders that watch me. I don't, I don't know. I don't like to show it, but that's me. <laughs> the tear and everything. Because <laughs> this is one third, so 28 grams is a serving. You've literally never had grape nuts, Kate. Where the F have you been? All right, 29 grams. Measure it out. And I did wash these. When I bought them in the container, put like set them on a paper towel and let them dry out and then put them in the fridge. That's how I kind of do it. But I'm just gonna put a few strawberries in here. Yes. Yes, I did that in my oatmeal today. It was the best decision I ever made. Ever. Ever. I can't really believe I ever put anything else in my oatmeal. What the f is my problem? I'll put up small one. There we go, four strawberries. Yeah. No, 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 no. She's gonna throwing have out so much of the strawberry. That's like, no, 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 no. Okay. Serving of this fatso for a healthy fat. Fatso, um, crunchy salted caramel, peanut butter, no sugar, no palm oil. It's just, I don't know how they make it taste like that. Honestly. Um, natural salted caramel flavor. Okay. Well, All right. Go. Very good. The salted caramel was natural, but whatever. All right. And I'm also going to tell you what. I, I don't eat peanut butter. <laughs> I cannot intuitively eat peanut butter. Trust me. I would intuitively eat the whole dang jar. Fried <laughs> an egg because... None of it. That's a trigger have... food for me. But that I, I don't really have triggers, so to speak, except peanut butter. I don't touch this stuff. I use PB2. I can't. I had to, I had to ban it for myself. That's... that's <laughs> I know it's not good to have food rules or whatever, but I had to, I, I had to give sure myself that rule. Protein source, um, fat source, carb source. Let's yeah, I'm gonna add some unsweetened almond milk. So I'm gonna fry an egg. And my new friend, make that two eggs. Nice I'm gonna have two pan. fried eggs. Why can't I have a nice pan like that? I will put the nutritional information with every meal that I eat. To show you guys. All right. You know, and I'm just going to keep drinking water throughout the day. Mm -hmm. I have a Brita full of cold filtered water. That's Very what good. I drink all day. And a serving of this is one tablespoon. So. All right. Oh, look at that. All right. So all that's missing is a bit of sugar-free ketchup, my almond milk, and that's my breakfast. I've been adding cinnamon to a lot of things because yes. it's supposed to help with blood sugar and it just adds extra flavor without adding any calories 
any sugar, pepper too, black pepper, I love it. So it's about finding seasonings and making your food not boring, <laughs> you know, so anyway, so I had a good night and all right, uh, I mean, this is a great meal, right? Yeah. 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 I'm gonna have, yeah. Try to have a like, complete meal so that I'm not hungry or missing anything. <laughs> Jody said my blood type is Nutella. You know I mean? <laughs> so. mm. Grape nuts were discontinued in Canada. Move out. It's time to move. You can't get grape nuts in Canada. What's the matter with Canada? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I love it. Mm -mm. Nope. It's their problem. I don't have a spatula, so I need to get one. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Hits the spot, doesn't it, BB Jeans? Sure All right, breakfast. I'm curious what our next meal and, is, though. And I took, so I took pizza to the shop. Skip. We're just staying home today. My nurse is coming. Oh, so is she having a my coffee? dressing did fall off last night, but I didn't really notice. And Pete's looked at it, and it's like almost completely healed. So I think this will probably be my last nursing visit. So they've been wonderful, and I appreciate their help. But I'm glad that it's healed by me. Hi Sam. Hey guys, so here's what I'm having for a snack. Having about half of a bell pepper, some cucumber, pickles, measured out ranch, and baby bell. One baby bell cheese, that's all I have left. And I don't measure the vegetables, I count them as a free food. Um, I don't count them in the calories unless they're starchy. So why or are you sweet. eating so few of them? How's that supposed to, how's that little thing of vegetable supposed to satisfy you? It's okay, have his, come on, fill up on the stuff. Vegetables fill you up more than anything. You know, that's why I have so, like I have huge salads with my meal, and that's why that stuffs you. Stuffed. Eat like the carrots or something like that. I, I, I mean, I'm not going to worry about the vegetables right now, so mostly just portioning the control portioning working on portion control on the things that are higher in calories so yeah all right guys so i'm making dinner and what i'm putting in my mashed potatoes is vegetable broth it's this brand harvest sun organic bouillon so that's about teaspoon per cup of hot water all right so for flavor i'm just gonna use that for the potatoes i got some ham here i just dry fried it on my ceramic pan i love that pan Ooh. This is the ham I'm having. Um, no nitrates or anything in it. And it's actually pretty low in calories. So for one centimeter slice, it's only 50 calories and one gram of fat. So um, I'm going to measure that out and I'll show you my dinner when it's done. All right, guys, yummy. This is my dinner. So all right. this is um, a oh hundred- Oh my God, that's all the mashed potatoes she's eating. Are you serious? Really? Where's the starch? <laughs> how are you gonna how are you gonna be full? Oh, uh, alright. It does look horrendous, Jasmine, but I'm not gonna you know, I won't get into and, that. And I'll put the calories again up here. This is a cup of the vegetables, and this is um, three quarters of a cup of mashed potatoes with the broth and nothing else. Mm. So I'm go also going to put some yellow mustard. With the broth and nothing hand, else? Come on, different. you can eat. Like, come on. Oh, it's just so sad. It just looks like such a small thing of potatoes. <laughs> I love potatoes. Oh, come on. You should see. I haven't had mashed potatoes in a while, but you should see the Pyrexes of mashed potatoes that I eat. <laughs> bottles in the background. I had them in the dishwasher, so uh, these are from the juices I bought recently. I'm just going to fill them with other liquids, put the cap on, put them in the fridge. All right. So I'm going to end the video here. 
Um, I already plugged this. Why do you figure she has a vegan protein blend on her counter? What do you think's up with that? <laughs> I just, I don't know. You just had all that ham. What do you need more protein for? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at it. I just find it odd. She's got she has got this big this plate of ham and then she's got a vegan protein behind her. It's just kind of strange. This all went in my fitness pal for my final meal later. I like her music choices I'm going too. To it's inspiring me to you know, maybe I need some new music on my starch blog. Have this leftover spaghetti and it's all measured out, all plugged into my fitness pal. I'm gonna have it with about Two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, which I have also plugged into my fitness pal. Now, I am still under, I still have 500 calories to go. And again, to prevent binges, I really want to eat all of the calories that I'm allowed. I'm usually used to eating, oh my gosh, anywhere from like 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, depends on the day. It depends Jesus. on the binge. But um, I want to eat, I want to make sure I'm eating most of my calories and most of my macros. So... <laughs> I'm actually going to, um, I want something low fat. So what I'll do is if I am still hungry after I eat this, I will just have some um, blueberries. I have some wild blueberries. Maybe I'll make a, like a sorbet out of it with some almond milk and just blend it. And that'll be it. For All the right. Night. So that's what I'm going to have. And that's kind of the idea. It's just eating frequently enough, make sure I'm eating enough and make sure it's satiating food, nutritious food. So that's, that's basically what I'm trying to do. And yes, it is still a struggle. I struggle every day, every night with fighting off that urge, you know. So I think when I get really, if I, you know, those binge urges come back tonight, I think I'm just going to try to go to bed. I'm kind of tired. So anyway, so this vlog, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. All right. Well, I mean, that was a, that was a decent day, right? Right? That, was, that wasn't bad. Yeah, that wasn't bad. I, I don't know. That was that was good. I mean, if it helps. Okay. Well, I I don't know what to say because, like I said, I'm not a specialist in anything. So, I, I was just curious what. You know, so I guess this was like a good day for her. And that's good. I drink constantly. This is me all day. I'm always drinking. <laughs> yeah, this was a nice video. She wasn't ranting. She wasn't mean. She wasn't, I don't know. It was good. She wasn't yelling at anybody. Well, I did skip over a lot, I'll admit. Hey, Zerhaha. Zerhaha. <laughs> Hello. Yes, this is live. Yeah, it's paint drying time, guys. The, I, I think I want to watch something else this time, though. Why don't we... What, what's something else we can react to? Pain drawing. Any other requests? I, I'm I'm kind of like I already watched pain drawing. Is there anything else you guys might be interested in? Hmm. I could watch lawn mowing time lapse. Mowing tall grass on a vacant property. Oddly satisfying lawn care. Oh my god, we gotta watch this. Okay, so here's our job for today. Yes! Look at that. Look at that lawn. Oh my god, it's so tall. This is gonna be a one-time cut for a property that's under contract to be sold. Yes! Get to the cut! No, grass this is a whole lot tall. of talking about it. Just to give you an idea. Look at that grass! Oh my god, I can't wait for you to cut this grass. Yes. So 
almost waist high bahia. Woo! That's some tall grass. So we've got grass. some freshly some sharpened blades on the bobcat, and we'll see how she does. Yes, yeah, so we're getting the bobcat out. Yes! Oh my god, he's going in like a circle. Why do you think he's doing that instead of just straight lines? Yes! Yeah, he's going, look, he's going in like a circle, do, and I just, it's so curious. It's kind of like how my nephew does it. He does it in a roundabout way, too. He's autistic. Oh, floor cleaning videos. We can watch that next. Oh, this is so satisfying. Yes! Do you guys see? I don't know if you can tell. I hope it's... Like, you can see the tall grass behind him before he cut it. Yes. This looks like a lot of work. He has to stand that whole time. I don't... Can't you sit while you're on one of those things? Oh, he doesn't mind. He's having fun. Yes! Oh my god, this is the best. He's doing it in a big circle again, but then he gets like, the circle gets like, it closes in, closes in, closes in, until there's no lawn left in that section. It's kind of smart. Look at that mobile home behind him, you see that? I've been watching mobile home tours, oh my god, I love it. Chances mobile home tours, they're so good. This is so satisfying. Look how short the grass is now. Yes. I love watching grass being cut. When my nephew mows the grass, I gotta watch, and I love the smell of it. Oh my god, look how tall this grass is. Yes. Oh my god. There he go. There he go. There we go. That beautiful home needs a beautiful lawn. Yes. Oh, and there he go. He keeps going. Oh my God. He didn't miss not one spot. I'm watching very carefully. I wonder if he's getting paid to do this. I mean, he needs a raise because he's doing a great job. This is great. Oh, it's just so satisfying. Oh my God. This oh my God. Look at this grass. Oh my god, that's such a big yard. That's so, that's so big. Can you imagine having that yard and having to do this consistently? Mishi says, I need to remember to watch these videos during the winter. I miss mowing. Oh, this is great. This is great. You know, he's getting really, like, he's really getting the edges there, too. Like, he's not... He's not getting lazy at the edges. You know what I mean by the edges? Like, at the ends, like either at the end of the yard or where it gets closer to the house or whatever, like the edges. It's it's so satisfying to watch the ed the edges go down. Oh my god, I wonder what it smells like too, Javi. This probably smells like heaven. Oh my god. Yes. See, he's like, he's like doing circles. That grass is so tall. How's that even happen? Oh, you better clean up those edges by the house there, dude. Uh, see, now I'm not satisfied because they didn't show him doing the edges and that's... Yes. Yes. 
Oh, come on, get it. There's just a little sliver left, guys. There you go. Oh, yeah. Come on, one more. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Got a whole other yard. This yard is huge. But here's the thing. You guys were saying if you have a yard like that, you probably have the money to pay someone to cut it. But that home was a mobile home there. Oh. This is great. You know what? I'm not satisfied because I'm just imagining him standing the whole time. That That's not satisfying. If you were riding in a mower, that's different. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Boy, that's like some annoying grass there. Oh my god. You need to like weed wax seriously though. I guess that's a, that's something he's going to come through and do separately. I just admit, like if I'm imagining my feet hurting. Like if I'm riding around mowing a yard this big, like my feet would hurt or like I don't know, it would be it's hard to stand that long. What if you lose balance and fall and mow over yourself? I'm sorry, that was really not cozy. I, I'm just, I'm... There it is. See, I told you, he's going to do it separate. There it is. He's doing the edges, cleaning them up. Thank you. This is the stuff my, my dad comes to our house and does this for us. Because <laughs> we're, we're used to my, my My nephew can mow the lawn. He loves to do it, but we need help with the the weeds for sure. Oh, God, yes. I'm so satisfied he's doing this now. I'm not satisfied because he's still standing, but he must be in good shape. This is just absolutely breathtaking. This is so much better now. Yes! Yes! God, those are kind of pretty looking, though. Those clover-looking green th Like, those things. Like, they're kind of pretty, but I guess they're weeds. I don't know what they are. Yes. Oh yeah, this, look at that tall grass next to the house. Do you guys see that? Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. This is a great job. God, this needed to be done so bad. I'm so happy for this house. <laughs> All right, uh, many of you are new and confused. I'm sorry, this is, I had to watch it. I, oh, yes. Yes. Now, mind you, I'm disabled. This is a job I wouldn't do myself at all. Um, oh, 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 no. Oh, that would have ruined his machine. This is something I would never do. I, I can't, look, I'm very, I'm disabled. I, but it's very satisfying for me to watch other people do it. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's amazing. Yes, getting those corn. Yeah. See, these are all the spots he couldn't get to with the mower. And he's taking care of it. And it's very satisfying for me. You gonna move those planks of woods or what are you gonna do? How do you figure? Yeah, there it is. Okay, he didn't have to. Much better. Much better. This yard is nuts. Can you imagine mowing this thing? Jesus. Was that a cigarette on the floor? Huh. I see a couple cigarettes, I think. Unless the house fall is falling apart. <laughs> Christopher said, I grew a beard thinking it would help me. It would help the fly stuff. Just shaved. My mask fits wonderful. Very good. <laughs> no, I don't like blackhead pops or pops or any of that. That's disgusting. Look at that yard now. So much better. You got to trim those trees next. Yeah. Oh, don't you want to roll in that field of freshly cut grass? Mm. 
Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. It's a nice house. It's a mobile home. I've, I've been watching like mobile home tours, Chance's mobile home tours. I love them. Very fancy mobile homes. Trust me, those mobile homes I would live in, I would live in one. Wait, wait, hold on. Tanya said, I saw Nick, Nick Avocado Avocado, say the diabetes thing too, and then he said he didn't have it, that he just was worried about he sucks. I don't need, I can't even care about him. Yes. Much better. Much better. Great job. It's a beautiful property. It's a beautiful property. I bet they get like deer and stuff in their yard. This is just unbelievable. Oh, yeah, that yard is amazing. Well, I guess all the uncut parts are like not not this house's property. And th those houses have to get it together because they're junking up the neighborhood. This has a nice yard now. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Look at it. Well done. Much better. Much better. The before and afters, these put... Fantastic. Very fantastic. It looks like this may have taken him a few days. Ooh, Christina said, Justine, check out Tiny Estates when you have a chance. We've stayed over, over there two times. High-end tiny, tiny homes in Lancaster. Nice. You know what, you know what Tiny Homes I really like? I, I don't like... It's not that I don't like the idea of a tiny home. In fact, I love the idea of a tiny home. The less I have to take care of and clean and walk to get things, the better. Okay? Once again, I'm disabled. If I, I don't want to have to go up and down stairs and all that. I have to do that as it is so I can do the litter boxes. Nope. I, I don't like stairs. I would love a tiny home. But I don't like the lofts that you have to like climb ladders and climb into. I really like the tiny homes where first it, like it has stairs if there is an upstairs loft but your bedroom is downstairs that's my favorite those are my favorites and the really nice ones and they exist and it makes me want to buy them now tall grass isn't nice because because that's where like fleas are and like you know bugs Victorian Beauty said, sorry to say, but did anyone else think how great it would be to watch the edging video stoned? Look, <laughs> it's not like I never did. Not gonna lie. Yeah, tiny houses are amazing. Oh, Shazon said, Justine's still finding joy in simplicity. The simplest things make me happy. Look, I, <laughs> I am not difficult to please at all. Give me a computer. I'll watch stuff like this all day. <laughs> oh, Shion doesn't like his uh, pattern, though. It's interesting. The, his pattern was unusual. It was like a circle, and I don't know how I felt about it, but it was a bunch of circles, that, and he just kept closing in on the circles, and it, it was kind of frustrating to watch, but once I got it, it was very satisfying. Yeah, now I'm not climbing a ladder to go to bed. Then you gotta climb a ladder or climb down a ladder in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Nope. I, I That's what I don't like about tiny homes. But I've seen tiny homes that don't have that, and that's the kind of tiny home I love. But what they do have is like vaulted ceilings. So from the outside, it looks like that they have a loft, but it doesn't. It's just the inside is just flooded with light because there's. They're just really high ceilings with windows and, oh my god, I want a tiny home a little bit. Oh, car, car detailing videos. That's interesting. <laughs> well, I'm, I hope you guys enjoyed watching grass being cut. Whoa. 
hold on, mowing the most overgrown lawn in my career. I'm going to close out the stream with this. I'm clicking on it. I was clickbaited. Oh, this is long, though. This is so long. Alright, this guy's, like, talking and stuff. I'm not interested. He seems like a nice guy, but I'm here for the lawn. Oh, my God. Look how overgrown that is. Did you guys see that? Hold on. It's coming. Oh, that's a beautiful waterfall. Do you see that? It's, like, hidden beneath all the crap that's overgrown. It's like a waterfall and like a little stream there oh my god this is ridiculous look at this property when was the last time this yard was cut oh my god this is ridiculous i i can't even look at it anymore Where, when's it getting cut yes see he's sitting how much more satisfying he's doing the circles too yes that's what's up. Oh, no, no, no. There's so many stragglers behind him, though. This is... Oh, my God. No, keep going. The, the, you've missed some. Go go back. Go back. There we go. There we go. Yes! See, this is satisfying because he's sitting. I'm not imagining his feet hurting, so that's great. Yes, snake territory for sure. Yes, Anna LA, video when you weed the back of your yard. Do it. I wish I was daily vlogging back when we were at the old house because we had massive pumpkins. We had huge pumpkins that Mert grew from seeds from... Our, no, no, no. She had... She had Halloween pumpkins that she just let rot outside. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to grow pumpkins, but she got so many pumpkins. We had a massive pumpkin bush in the front of the house that our landlord hated, but <laughs> it was there. And they I thought it was beautiful. I couldn't understand why her landlord didn't like it. I thought it was beautiful. Big, beautiful, rich green leaves and these big pumpkins. We're trying to grow pumpkins again, but... You know, we just moved here a little over a year ago, and... Oh, I see. It's easier to turn in circles than hard 180-degree turns. That makes sense. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> this is so great. Come on! Yes! Chop that off! What am I even going to title this when it go when this goes up on YouTube? Lawn mowing reaction? I don't know. <laughs> All right, Christina, have a good dinner. <laughs> I can't believe there's 380 people in here. <laughs> hey, watching lawn mowing. Oh, yes. There you go. Oh, he's going deep in the bush now. Oof. This is so satisfying. So when you cut grass like this, like grass this tall, where does it go? This is such an ignorant question. I'm so stupid. Like where like does it just shred it up and then it floats out and the like it floats around? Is that what it does? Because it looks like it disappears, all of that. And where does it go? I don't see a bag where it goes. Like I guess it's just flying out? Such an ignorant question. Wait, you have koalas in your garden? Are you serious, Kara? That's so cute. No, I bet they're... Yeah, okay. That, that's actually really frustrating, though. If you live somewhere where you're used to koalas, it's probably like squirrels and we just... We're used to them, we just don't like them <laughs> because they ruin things. <laughs> Christopher said, I have to lower the volume. The fan may think I'm watching porn. We are. It's lawn mowing porn. <laughs> mm. 
Yes. Yes. Come on, cut that. Okay, Miss Miss Demeanor said it lays on the ground as mulch. Thank you. And mulch is it. Okay, I get it. Koalas are drug addicts? Jesus. I, the, you learn something new about koalas every day. Here, okay, Christopher's, Christopher, thank you for being here, filling us in. He's going to need a sweeper. Okay. There's so many stragglers sticking up, though. This is kind of, I mean, maybe this is a 40-minute video, so maybe he gets to those eventually. I'm sure he does. It's just, at this moment, I'm not satisfied because of those, see those tall things sticking up? Come on, mow over them. Come on. No, why are you turning? Mow over those. It's bothering me. Oh, I'm not satisfied. Mow over those. See those two? Those two big tall ones sticking up? Those, there's two of them right up front there. Cut them. Oh, my God. Eucalyptus gets them high. Oh, that's so interesting. Well, so you know what it is, Kara? She said, Kara said koalas have... Excellent PR, but they're either stoned off of eucalyptics or attacking things. I can get that. I mean, they, they, it looks like they have, like, sharp nails and, you, you know, I, I get it. But from here, like, in America, like, we think of a koala. It's like, aww. <laughs> and they have those cute noses. and <laughs> Yeah, he's definitely going to have to do a second round. I agree, Joe. It's amazing. Oh my god, look, it's like mulching all over the place. Uh, that's This is intense, though. That's a lot of mulch. That's a lot of mulch. Okay, Britt said, Koalas are cute and fuzzy from afar, but I'd be terrified to bump into one in my garden. Yeah, kind of like a raccoon. <gasps> ah! Is it gone? Ah. Okay. I'm very scared of spiders. Like, annoyingly scared of spiders. Okay. I'm very, very scared of spiders. I think it's... I think I have a literal arachna. I can't. I'm so scared of them. I don't know why. You know, I, I lived with my dad for an obnoxiously long time, right? I, it wasn't until I was like 30-something when finally I... Now I'm living, living with my sister. And my dad was getting really fed up of me needing help because there was a spider around. Like, he was getting really annoyed by it. Thankfully, I live, I live with my sister. And my nephew loves taking care of bugs for his sisters and me. <laughs> I, don't, I know I don't mind bugs. In fact, I, I, I kind of... I like bugs. It's just spiders. I don't know what it is. I can't even look at them. Jill's that way with cockroaches. I'm cool with the cockroach. Well, I've never, I don't know if I've ever seen a cockroach, but like they don't scare me. Like bugs don't scare me. It's just spiders and spiders freeze me. They, like I'm frozen. I, I, I cannot anything knowing that there's a spider. I, I can't. No. Oh, Britt loves spiders. You know, my, my sister doesn't mind spiders. She'll take care of a spider. She won't even... She'll, like, not kill it for me and all of it. She thinks they're cute. Like, she sees a spider that I'm freaking out about, and she's like, aw. And then she, you know, then she'll let it outside or something. I can't do that. Like, I don't want it to touch me. I, I can't even look at it. I mean it. I can't even look at it. I don't know what's up with me. Spiders are garden friends. No, no. Even if spiders did something useful, like taking care of mosquitoes for us or something, I can't. They, I, I'd rather use. I'd, I'd rather just light a candle to keep the mosquitoes away. I really don't like spiders, 
And now that I've seen one on the screen all big, I'm going to have a dream tonight. There should have been a trigger warning for that. Oh, tarantula unboxings? No. <laughs> no. No. One time I did take a long, hard look at a tarantula in a, um, in a pet store. Me and my friend Yurisa used to go to pet stores all the time. And she was, like, playing with the tarantula. And, like, she wanted me to play so bad. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't even... I, but I did look at it. And I thought it looked kind of cute, the idea of it, like it's fuzzy and soft. No. No. Though I think a tarantula would scare me less than any other spider. I don't know why. Oh my god. No, no, Florida. Yep. Nope. 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 I, I feel like I'm in a... I'm in a safety place here in New Jersey. We don't have giant anything, okay? <laughs> nope. I hope I dream about puppies too, but... And now I've been talking about spiders because I feel like I had to explain why I had the extreme reaction that I did to a spider. <laughs> oh, God. Sna yeah, snakes. Anna says snakes are beautiful. Snakes don't scare me. Uh, mice don't scare me. No, n nothing. Just spiders. I don't know why. I'm so scared of them. Oh my god, look at that. Oh. Those look like trees, those plants. What are they? All right, well, that's better. Actually, that's really pretty. Whatever that moss building is, that's, like, pretty. I'm just imagining the spiders in this place. I can't. That's what I don't like about... Some, like, horror shows spiders sometimes, and it's just so... I can't. It really scares me. Okay, Victorian Beauty said, I'm the same way. Like, tarantulas are far enough removed from the from spiders... Um, I, I've seen in life that they don't trigger spider fear. Yeah, it's the same thing. The tarantulas are almost like a different animal. Almost. I, I, if I ever touch a spider, it would be a tarantula. A tarantula doesn't really scare me. Though tarantula is probably the one insect that could probably hurt you, though, right? But weirdly, I'm not scared of them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Rain spiders? No. Nah, I don't want to hear nothing about it. Nope. I heard a fact once when I was a kid that we swallow spiders in our sleep. And, um, I couldn't sleep for a long time. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. Yeah, Big Bitterful Me says, Australia has spiders the size of dinner plates. Yeah, I've seen them. I've seen them. I can't even... And I've seen things about those spiders. Like, you can't even kill those kinds of spiders like you you have to like trap them the, no <laughs> i'm not moving to australia not moving to nope none of these places florida nope 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 new jersey is where it's at new jersey has four seasons new jersey has a beach new jersey has new york new new jersey has philadelphia i'm staying put look <laughs> Oh, thank you. Victorian Beauty points out, good news, swallowing spiders in your sleep is a myth. Yeah, I heard I heard that too when I was younger, and it kind of, like, got me over it a little bit. I just hate, I'm so scared of them, and it's embarrassing how scared I am of spiders. It's so embarrassing. That's why I don't go anywhere. What if I see a spider somewhere? Oh my god, I can't imagine. Oh, yeah, Brit C said, don't they defang pet tarantulas? Probably. I, don't, I mean, I'm not saying I would have a pet tarantula, but, you know, I, I'm talking about if I come across one in the wild. If I came across one in the wild, I'd probably be super fat. Oh, a snake! Cool! That snake's probably confused because he cut all, the, he cut all that down. Snakes are cool. Snakes probably kill spiders, so I'm cool with snakes. 
NJ has bears. See, I'm cool with bears. Camel spiders. Oh, God. Why did I even start this conversation? <laughs> All right, guys, I think I'm going to conclude this. I've been live almost two hours now. Oh, thanks, Ty. I do need protection from spiders. As of right now, my nephew's doing it. It's really embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. My dad... <laughs> my dad got so mad at me. <laughs> because I just... Because I can't even function knowing that there's a spider. Like, I, I just... I can't even... It's so ridiculous. <laughs> it's absurd. Thank God I got my nephew. I tell you what, my nephew's always going to live with me. Always. <laughs> spiders or geese? Which, which, to end? Spiders or geese? I would pick, if I had to choose if geese could exist or if spiders could, ex could exist, I would choose geese. It's really that bad. Like, I hate, I do not, why do I keep talking about them? No, I'm so scared of them. Oh my god, Clark Mar, I'm so sorry. Why they said, why do you always finish the stream when I start watching Bloody Australian Time? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god, Australian Time. I, I would we were just talking about Australia because y'all have spiders like no, that I would not no. No. I mean, is it like a common thing in Australia to have spiders the size of dinner plates? Like how commonly does that happen? Is it as common as seeing, like, a house spider? No. I mean, I see a house spider probably, like, once a month or something. Maybe less. Like, I can't imagine seeing a spider the size of a dinner plate. I can't. Like, how common is it? <laughs> oh, thank you, Horror Beauty. Uh, she says, check out the vlog channel for more Justine. That's right. I upload every Tuesday and every Friday very long vlogs <laughs> for... For you to enjoy, and it's what I eat in a day's every day. You can see what I'm eating. You can see, yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'm going to conclude this. I'm very hot, and I cannot wait to tie my hair up. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you guys again. Oh, Kara said the big ones might exist in the outback. I've seen videos of, of these giant dinner plate spiders showing up in people's kitchens in Australia. I mean, maybe they live near the outback. I don't know. I'll, I'll admit I'm extremely ignorant about Australia. I suck. I just hate spiders. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that huge rant about spiders. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm talking about, the huntsman spider. That's exactly what I'm talking about, Clark Marr. Thank you for pointing that out. This will be up, like, right away. I'm going to add timestamps and stuff now. Thank you guys so much for coming. I'll be back. Everyone hopes and prayers and stuff for Amber. She just got out of the surgery.